want to say good morning, but I can't. All right, I just put up on Instagram current situation. I think it's March 28th. I'm in the backyard. You guys know my familiar backyard. A storm rolled through last night. I was on the phone actually and um, got off the phone and just barely got in the bed about 15 minutes later. It was already lightning and everything. A horrid lightning struck and I knew it hit something because it was so loud and I could just hear the the boom and I didn't know what and then all of a sudden the lights went out. It was a light on in the hall so everything just went black and then two minutes later another one just the same hit. Guys let me show you what's going on okay in the backyard. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. There you go. Look at that smoke. The crew is on the ground trying to figure out what to do. It's about 30,000 people in the city without power. But this is in my backyard. How close we were. If this thing had fallen while it was lit. It smells, oh my goodness. It is, ugh. Oh, look at that fire. This thing is still lit. You know what? Let me go get my kids situated because I don't know what is about to happen. It's still, it's smoking bad. It's not even, it's not out. Y'all pray for us. Look at the, look at the fire coming out. It's on fire, literally still. Look at that. All right. Yeah, let me go get my kids up because I don't know what's about to happen. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, they're about. And we don't have power. I have a little bit of battery in my phone. So I'm going to try to do a community update. But you guys, I don't even know when this is going to go up. Hopefully you caught Instagram. I'll be back when I can. Peace out, y'all. And those that affect it, praying for you. I'm in the house, y'all. Don't worry, I'm in the house. There's so many people out here, it's not even funny. use the extinguisher to extinguish it. Hopefully it won't catch back, but Lord. I keep trying to knock the pole now. You know, they're probably like, what is she doing standing there with the camera? They cut off the top part that was inflamed and it's still on the ground. Put a new one in them. 
There you go. That's what they took off the top. You can just put a new one on. Yeah, that's metal. And that's what got hit, Tariq. It started to rain again. Thank goodness for the rain, though. I was getting a little worried. Not that much battery left. It's 9.42. My, my laptop is charged, so I can charge it if I need to. We do have an emergency cell phone. Yep. That is the status. Bless you. It's gotten dark all of a sudden again, getting darker. Storm again. Look how dark it got. Now we're in a flash flood again. It looked like it. Well, they just left. We still don't have any power. <laughs> Look at the lightning. <laughs> y'all this is not funny but i can say this what the hell is hailing it is literally hailing out here so they're gone and it's hailing it's huge I'm telling you, this is Texas for you. The weather, oh my goodness. Oh man, let me get back to some bust through the window. I'm sitting here, my phone is dangerously low. So I'm charging it with what battery I can. At least my laptop is completely full. About to grab the other phone so I can charge it up because I don't know what's going on, but yeah, this is not good at all. Kids are awake, are awake now, and um, <laughs> about to go make them some sandwiches. Morning, it's 10:44. I'm about to show you what's happening. The rain has calmed down, the hail has stopped, and the kids are eating. So, you know, it's a raindrops, but it's a truck back out there. And I don't know what's going on now, but yeah. So, I know they gotta test it to see if it is actually conducing currents but so 
let me get in here and open the refrigerator one time and cook up some food real quick and um, yeah we still have gas so try to preserve at least the eggs and the turkey bacon um, in that way I think everything else will be okay the freezer's packed even though it is on thawing I haven't opened it but um, this stuff is solid so I'm hoping that it makes it I'm hoping it is foggy out here yeah we're still in flash floods until one so we're not out of the clear yet I just you know and when storms happen like this they keep rolling they keep rolling it was just interesting that everybody through the country was saying storms and all kinds of things and we didn't get anything and lo and behold here we go so when it rains it pours Not that much power, 31%, but I'm going to turn this computer off because I don't want my laptop fried. So that'll give me something for now. The storm has rolled back in, so it's pouring outside again. Monday, God doing band practice. God doing band practice. All right. And what you say about our house? You wish? I wish it was made out of titanium. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be something. All right. Are you finished Not eating? Yet. Go finish eating. And early so it is 11:46. Still no power. The rain has subsided for the moment. You probably can hear something. Yeah, I got some bacon on the stove. Bacon and eggs and some French toast. The kids just ate their French toast. So, at least some of them did. So. Line up some more bacon. This is what's going on outside. So, at least it's light again because it was real dark for a while after the hail stopped or when the hail started it got really light i'm glad it's just light enough for us to see and i can cook because even with candles it's, it was still dark so i don't know what's going on but hopefully this thing is live so that we can get some power soon Right, so you can see daylight it has brightened up quite a bit it's a probably about 12 30 I'm not exactly sure My flashlight right here yeah so power slowly but surely I guess restoring it's on the other side of the street but not on this side yet because the line was on this side so it's taking them longer to get it restored over here They are adding the rest of the components now that the hail and rain has stopped. 12:41. So hopefully we will get this power. Like I said, there's power on the other side of the street. Some of the houses, one or two, not all of them. But um, seems like they're working on it. It's just taking a minute. Yep, it's a lever. You're absolutely right. He's high. He's observing the land. He already waved to you guys. No, he's so high. He's higher than the pool. He's checking to make sure that there are no other poles that were hit that they missed or are still smoking. He's, he's up high, mm -hmm. and he's higher than the pole. This one was still smoking a few minutes ago, so Look. hopefully it's done. 
Okay, it's 156. Let's see. I got it on Instagram. It was 146, so 10 minutes ago. I'm trying to get this phone together. It was at 1%. But, um, oh, my hand shaking. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise the Lord. I'm getting my phone back together. I'm getting ready to charge up my laptop. Get all the phones back. But yes, we have lights, y'all. Thank y'all for praying for us. Um, scary. Scary situation. Let's see. Try. I'm trying to find the server. That's what it's doing. Whew. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Oh boy. I know everybody is over here. Shout out to Glory. Out? You can go out. The thing is, the um, freezer is, yeah. I mean, everything is still cold, but it's cold. It's not ice cold. And, um,. Yeah, in the refrigerator. I don't know. It wasn't that much in the refrigerator to be really worried about, but um, I think the meat that was in the freezer it was frozen so much, so hard. So, all right. I have restored my internet, and I'm looking at. All right, thank you guys. I see the um stats from this morning thank you I'm going to read the comments and I probably, I don't know I know by the time you guys see this it'll be all later but um, for documentation purposes yeah I might go live, I don't know I'm just, I'm tired, everybody's tired and of course because we couldn't do anything we're not doing anything so I might as well just sit down and talk. We've been through an ordeal. So, of course, school is canceled. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I might talk about this because even though we, we um, you know, we cannot control or order emergency situations, but this was a true emergency. And I'm telling you, you guys saw, I mean, just the reaction I had no idea you know it's one of those things you just don't see coming you just you really don't and you don't know the reaction until that you're actually in the situation and um yeah I wasn't trying to save the room that was the last thing I was thinking about I was yeah but um I don't know I'm just curious to know how you all um, you know, what do you think if you would, in an emergency crisis like this? I had already filmed what I was going to film on this footage, but I thought about this because I talked about the food and the cooking and the power, and so I'm going to include this little bit right here, but um, somewhere in this vlog I talked about the duration of the power it was about 12 hours total from one something about 1 45 to about 1 45 uh p.m a.m to p.m and everything was still frozen but it started to um thaw the it was it was watery not frozen solid solid but um what i do what made everything, um, you know, I didn't lose anything in the freezer. What kept everything frozen outside of the, you know, the freezer itself. Let me show you. Always good to keep, if you don't keep ice, and ice can really thaw quickly, but, um, you know, you have to keep a lot of it, and if you don't have the space, frozen vegetables will thaw quickly, you know, um, 
I didn't open the freezer during this time. I just went straight for the refrigerator and just kind of hoped for the best. But I know I had a roast in here and some other meats. So, yeah. But, and this is big. You can't even see all of it. It's, you know, kind of goes back there. But I have some um, bags of frozen milk. Actually, it's buttermilk, and I need to, um, I'm going to discard it. But um, I always keep buttermilk because I just freeze my buttermilk. I don't always use it all at the, uh, you know, at the time I buy it. But I use it for various different um, recipes and things. But I have just left this in here and um, as a form of keeping everything cold anyway. So this is what helped save everything in the freezer. So... If you don't have um, ice packs, freezer packs, or um, you know a huge amount of ice, try this. Okay, you need something solid other than the vegetables to keep your meat and everything else. There's some bread in here, but you know, of course, that stuff is gonna thaw quickly. Um, yeah, try this out and just keep it in there you know you can discard it use it whatever but just remember to replace it if you use it and um, because you never know you know it can save it can make a difference you know prolong the um, the life of the food especially if it's an extended time like this you know amount of time that was a long time without um, without power but yeah you know, just keep it closed and don't open it and you know that'll make it work so here we go hopefully that was helpful I know it's dark it's night but you guys can probably hear it is pouring it's about 11 30 thundering and lightning again today's the 13th look at that I'm just praying that we don't have the same incident we had a few weeks ago with the power the transformer being hit oh my gosh I'm just it makes me so nervous I know I can't control it but I do not want to relive that night and day that was a lot that fire and then the no power it's ugly out there Ooh, look at that It's bad. It's hailing. I hear hail. It's hitting the back window. Or the back door. That's some serious hail. It's the same thing you did. Same kind of storm. So you can imagine if this is storm season, if we're going to keep getting storms like this for the next couple months. All right, so this is the aftermath, y'all. I'm telling you. Look at this from last night's storm. I bring the kids out here. Nice science lesson. Okay. Now they're going to have to come and cut it down because it's in our yard. Poor tree. We will watch the birds. It's a good tree. Yeah. Split. Behind me, I can hear and I can see. I'll show you in a minute. Some people on their roof 
trying to um, uh, roof doing roof repair. So it was that bad. That little branch up there has broken. Roof, doing a roof repair. Transformer still intact. <laughs> Thank the Lord. But Violent storm. Oh, no power, no internet. Hopefully, they fix this soon. It's Monday. What a way to start Monday. yet to see what damage where but in the backyard again it is april 16th and this is what's going on due to the down trees they're back out there power company it's about 10 something They've been out there since 7 o'clock this morning. We have no power. Again. Everybody's waking up. Ready to eat. Yeah. yeah. I was up trying to get some things together online and situated. And I did my, um, sat down and did my devotional, my Bible study, and read for about an hour. And now I'm dealing with this. So hopefully we'll have some more power soon. I just wish they would give us a warning or something. This is not good. Well, who knows what the next storm will bring. Goodness. And I saw somebody else said they had down trees. It was in a in another state. 
think maybe um, Illinois or Missouri or somewhere. I think it was Missouri. So stuff happening all over the country. Disobedience, y'all. Disobedience. The Father is definitely moving. And we all suffer because of it. Such is life.